Traveler girls like making a fashion statement everywhere they go. A picture is a thousand words. That's why we have to dress the best. On today's episode, we'll be talking about fashion, showing you our wardrobe, why we like to get glammed up, and some of our favorite outfits. If you have any comments, comment them down below and we'll get back to you the best we can. I'm gonna give you a tour on our closet. So this is where we store all our clothes, shoes, bags, accessories, etc. In the drawers is most of our clothes. Here's a few of our favorite bags at the moment. We like to put our favorites on the table so we can just pick it up when we're ready to go. Here are a few of our favorite jewelry pieces. Um, you know we're travelers because of the bling. I'm more of a silver type of jewelry girl. And I'm more of a gold. I prefer earrings and bracelets. Whereas I prefer rings and necklaces. Some of our fave belts. I genuinely think that a belt can make or break your outfit. Our mini Chanel's, you know we had to match. So I would have to say that our shoe collection is probably the most expensive. We don't know all the prices because most of them were given to us, but I think yeah. they come up to a hefty sum. <laughs> In the summer, I love a wedge. I think that's all I wear and obviously sandals. Bling, 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 my favorite drawer. You know we had to have a pair in every color. Obsessed with neon colors, Ego is my favorite at the moment. Love a strappy heel for style and comfort. These are the Louboutins that have a personality of their own. Yeah, these are the shoes that didn't make the cut of having their own drawer. Maybe next year, girls. Time for the nude Louboutins, of course. I think everyone can say they have at least five pairs of black Louboutins. I think you could tell where we planned on going before Miss Corona intervened. Texas, baby, or was it Nashville? My favorites are the gold ones from Pretty Little Thing. All these shades because everyone's so shady these days. Yeah, we just love sunglasses, why not? Who doesn't love sunglasses? These are my go-to when I don't want you to know what my face is saying. And they're like smothered in diamonds. Who doesn't love sunglasses? Exactly. Traveler girls like making a fashion statement everywhere they go. A picture is a thousand words. That's why we have to dress the best. Travelers are known for their over the top style, but I personally think that it has narrowed down over the years and it's getting classier and more vintage style. Yeah, less is more nowadays. I know years ago is a bit tacky, but that's just we like being noticed and making a statement. Like the neon colors have stayed. Yeah, obviously. And, and I like the diamond, yeah, I was yeah. gonna say that. But it's just more tasteful now. I cannot count, literally, I cannot count on both my hands how many times I have gotten that. I've probably, I've probably been told about a hundred times. Maybe not a hundred. Maybe like, yeah, maybe like 10, 11 times. You don't look like a traveler. I'm like, how are we supposed to look? You don't sound like a traveler. Most of the travelers sound different than all the same person, but to each their own. I don't take offense to it, I really don't. Every traveler girl does not like wearing the same thing. That's why we put so much effort into our outfits, trying to find something different and new and unique that nobody else has worn. Imagine how embarrassing it is if you went to an event and they said, wait, didn't you wear that last time? Or I recognize that outfit on you. You even did your makeup. wearing that as well, like, no. You'll notice a traveler by their big hair, their bling, yeah. their makeup, preferably their eyebrows. Everyone remembers travelers from the Big Fat Gypsy Wedding and that was their fashion. They think that's the only fashion yeah. that we have. That was like 10 years ago. Be honest, I think nobody had style in the naughty, so don't even come for us. That was back then. It's evolving. I think social media has a huge influence on every culture and how fashion changes for them, especially with the traveling culture. A lot of girls want to wear the best, be the best, and just have the best. We're gonna show you some outfits that we'd wear to different types of events. Disclaimer. Me and Kate like to go matching in everything that we wear. 
it was forced upon us as yeah. children so i think we've yeah. just gotten into that mentality i think we can all agree that your mommy would always like force you in to so the same outfits in your sister. all of your sisters or your brothers and stuff and so we just like to do it i feel like we look odd if we're not wearing the it's same. just like different genres of outfits yeah. it's just Cambridge Fair is the start of summer, so girls go all out on their outfits. Okay, so this is what we'd wear to Cambridge Fair. Cambridge is the beginning of summer, so you know you have to wear florals and some pastel colours to give it some depth. Winter Wonderland is the biggest winter event of the year for travellers. Thousands of travellers go to Winter Wonderland. If you've been to Winter Wonderland in the winter, you know what we mean when we say thousands. We always have a theme for Winter Wonderland. 2017, we went for 70s vibes, you know, we went for the go-go boots and the hats. 2018, Burberry was in, so obviously we had to match with our best friend. It might not look like we're matching in these outfits, but of course we are. We went for Doja Cat theme, you know, we're obsessed with her. Caitlin was the cow. Moon. And I was purple because I feel like she loves that color. So Halloween has to be our favorite event of the year. We love dressing up. We like to make our own costumes because we want to be unique. Here's some of our favorite costumes. For Halloween, we always match. And of course, we always manage to make our own costumes. If you've watched Absolutely Aska, you know how girls are gonna dress. This is the event where girls go to their designers months in advance and get their outfits made. With a matching fascinator. Obviously, we don't have fascinators right now because we didn't plan on going this year. Cause We're gonna show you what we would wear. We improvise with the crowns, but you know, it's mainly floral vibes. A fascinator would look lovely with these dresses. So, girls like making big birthday parties when they turn 16 and 18. This is what we'd wear if we were going to a party. Birthday parties, we always have to stand out. Neon bling, I know, I know it's not our birthday, but still. So, this is what we'd wear at home. We're mostly at home, especially over the three year lockdown that we're yeah. in. Mainly in our jammers or gym sets. We Cause they're stretchy gym. and yeah, we like we to eat at home. Gym sets. If we're popping to the shops or maybe we're going to collect a takeaway, we probably wear like something really casual. My sister are like in um, m and and everyone keeps staring at us. So I'm obviously wearing my mask. I don't know if it's me or her, but like this is what she's wearing. I think it's the nightgown. Yeah. So this is what we'd wear if we're just popping to the shop. Typical traveler outfit, neon jeans and a crop top. There's been a lot of birthdays, a lot of events that have not been on during lockdown. So I think this is the biggest time of the year where people are gonna go all out for what they're wearing. Like, I don't think people care anymore if yeah. that's too much. It's never too much when you've been inside for three years. I don't care where I'm wearing this. I could be going to the Chinese buffet, but yeah, I'm wearing this. As you could tell, we love our brands. Our favourites are Pretty Little Thing, ASOS, Old Polly, Boohoo, Misguided, and I saw it first. This is from ASOS. I love the colour. It brings out my eyes, even though my eyes are blue. Yeah, this is from Pretty Little Thing. When we saw these, we're like, oh, we're gonna match. Yeah. You know, they match perfectly together. Things that mean the most to me and Caitlin aren't the designer bags or the shoes or the clothes. Even it's, though they're so beautiful. It's what was given to us by our parents. Like these items hold so much sentimental value and we'll give, we'd give up all of this like to have these items. Everyone in my family knows that I'm a jewelry person mm -hmm. and like, I, every big milestone I have, like my mommy will give me a piece of her jewelry that she was given. This ring was given to me by my father when I turned 12. So I've been wearing that since I was 12. Um, this ring, I love this ring because she's had this obviously since she was 13. It's a little taller ring. I don't know anything about it, but mm -hmm. she was given it to her by her sister when she was 13. And then this ring, my it's a graduation yeah. ring. Any traveler you know probably has a graduation no, ring. Probably like big, like way bigger. But this is like like a little one. I think I got it when I was three, but I started wearing it when I was fourteen. For me, my most treasured piece would have to be this t-shirt, like crop top, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I got it on my fourth birthday, so I've had it for sixteen years now. It was on a massive white teddy bear. My daddy came home and he was like, happy birthday this. It was one of the first memories that I have, like I was four and I forget everything. So it means a lot to me because I can remember receiving it as a child. Like I loved it. 
I had it for years until we had our dog and she chewed it up and I was I was actually roaring yeah. crying because we had to throw away the teddy bear but I took off the top off it and I, I keep this and So I'm gonna wear this every day! We get a lot of things online A lot of clothes gifted to us And we also love making our own clothes Favourite thing is thrifting up stuff Like upcycling things Yeah, like I like to look at an outfit and if I don't like it, I'm gonna change it I'm not just gonna throw it away or sell it Like I like to envision how I would wear it as you can tell, this was originally a tracksuit, but we upcycled this to make a dress and a crop top and shorts. We've already touched down on this wedding subject. But weddings are a huge deal for traveller girls. It's the one day of your life where it's all about you. It's all about me anyway, but okay. <laughs> and chances are this is going to be their only wedding. We haven't started planning our wedding, obviously, because like, we need to find a man first. But if I was getting married, I'd wear these. <laughs> I would wear a nude Louboutin mm. depending on my dress because I'm like more into the ivory type dress. I know you have to wear white, but I want so, like want a little bit of flavor, flavor to my dress. Spice. For traveler girls, I think there's two types of girls. There's the girl that likes the lace, the simpler dress, the classy look. Then there's the girl that likes the over the top, yeah, bling, 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 being covered in crystals. Either girl is probably going to be unbelievable on their wedding day. Thank you so much for joining us on this week's episode where we talked about fashion and our style. Tune in next week because our next episode will be talking about all things beauty, how we maintain our hair and a makeup tutorial. <laughs>